Hello, my name is Ofre Jeremiah and in today's lessons we will be talking about the topic Internet. At the end of this lesson, we are expected to have understand the definition of the Internet, the uses of the Internet, the Internet browsers and the types of the Internet. So what then is the Internet? It is a worldwide system of connected network of computers that allow millions of computer users around the world to share, transmit and exchange information before now sending of mails downloading of educational videos online downloading of textbooks online reading of electronic mails was not possible so the emergence of the internet can be traced back to 1957 this happened during the time in the american history called the cold war a time where the government was looking for an alternative means of communication Although it wasn't achieved, it was later in 1969, it came up again as a research project founded by the Department of Defense with a goal of creating a means of communication rather than the boring telephone line communication which is not 100% reliable, it fails at some point. So, many of us today were born into this era where sourcing of information through the internet we can do it right from the comfort of our room. But before then, it wasn't possible. It's only possible now because of the internet. So, specifically, what exactly is the use of the internet? It's used for research, for reading, for sending and receiving of mails, for watching of online lessons like what is happening right now, what you're doing right now, chatting with your friends, downloading of books, job hunting online and what have you we can appreciate the use of the internet through a particular software called the internet browser what is the internet browser it's a software application for accessing information on the world wide web all right when we say the world wide web we are saying it's a centralized ecosystem a platform where millions of computers are connected together just for the purpose of transform, transferring and sharing of information. So when a user requests a particular information via the internet, the internet browser retrieves the necessary content from a web server and then displays the resulting web page on the user's device. Maybe your laptop, your desktop, your smartphones, your iPad, and so on. So we have types of internet browsers. Okay, we have the Google Chrome, we have the Slimjet, we have the Safari, we have the Mozilla Firefox, which is very popular, we have the Opera, we have the UC browser. The UC means Universal Control Browser, it emanated from China. We have the Internet Explorer, there are a lot of them. So, these are the softwares that help you to appreciate the importance of the Internet. You install them in your device exploit them it has a platform called the search bar the address bar rather where you put the address of the web page you're looking for and um, the website or the web page you're looking for and you start exploring and appreciating its uses so i believe at this point we've been able to learn the definition of the internet we're able to understand the uses of the internet and also the meaning of the word internet browser and the types of browsers if that is being it has if that has been short then we can try this out by listing 10 types of internet browsers that we know thank you for listening until we meet again in our next lesson bye